merry-go-round. Up here in the top right, in the red, the Terran player. It is Flash. And to the bottom at 6 o'clock, it's super for Gem, Global Esports Management. And uh, the organization working out here in Korea to help get these, uh, these players on the teams, representing players like Keen as well. A lot of these old uh, MVP players. Yeah. Um, other players as well as MVP himself. True. Super here against Terran is down 0-2. Not the best Protoss map here, and it was um, Flash's map pick, so. Well, uh, this is going to be, you know, one of those, again, a bigger maps. Um, the smaller map didn't work out for Flash, unfortunately. Uh, that's the, the map that Super chose, actually, and, you know, it was really a control mistake. I can guarantee you that Super is definitely, I don't know if he'll do it, but he's definitely thinking about <laughs> Uh, checking a little bit more carefully the third base locations going into this game because I'd almost got him twice in a row. Yeah. It's going to be key to get that scout off so he has a better idea of what's going on in the game. I wonder if he's just going to do the same thing. Yes, yes you can. can. Flash winner of Casper Cup 2014, question mark, Kappa. Was it leaked? Did they just leak the winner of the Casper Cup? Where did they get that taken down? I think they might have. Someone needs to tackle that guy. We gotta get Google on this. We gotta take this down. <laughs> and the Motion Picture Association of America. Make sure that gets taken off. So that's what MPA stands for. Yes. Wow. For some reason I couldn't think of the acronym, so I just said the <laughs> thing out loud. <laughs> I'm just getting some knowledge here. Look at the Kespa FBI Cup. call Scotland Yard. That sign needs to be taken down. <laughs> Didn't even have a question mark at the end. It's totally spoiled the results. I'm yeah. so sorry to everybody. Well, Probe's slowly being put into gas here. Probably going to see the same thing here, just an expand pretty early. Yeah. I mean, everything here is looking literally exactly the same um, as it did in the previous Ooh. games. He's going to have to... He's, is he going to cancel it, I wonder? He did not cancel it, actually. That's really annoying. Not only does he have to spend the money on the Zealot, but he has the delayed Nexus and the SCV gets away. And now he might even kill the Zealot with the Reaper. Let's yeah. see. Just oh, that Zealot chase way too far. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, Zealot might go down here. It's Very running away. Chance. Mother Soup Core is uh, out. Trying to come out here and defend, and I think it will. Yeah, we'll actually save it. Very close call there, though. The very powerful melee warrior, that's Zealot. Notice uh, today the uh, client is in English. Sometimes it's in English it and sometimes English it's in English yesterday. Was it? Yeah. Because on the first day it wasn't. Yeah. We got all our production problems fixed here. Yeah, sometimes I just don't know whether it's going to be in English or in Korean. Yeah, sometimes you just don't notice. Well, two barracks going up. We're going straight into the same build. Twilight Council. Wow. It seems like I'm experiencing deja vu right now, Brendan. Yeah. Should we talk you about... You said that earlier, actually, when we were coming down the stairs in the yeah. Nixon Arena. Should I talk about Buzz Lightyear bed sheets again? <laughs> let's not do that. No, no, no. Um, well, I mean, let's see how this plays out, right? How much damage is Flash going to get done this time? Uh, because that's been the key, really, here to the early game. Nosy oh. Reaper jumps in. That pylon's not enough to stop him. Yeah. He's going to see it. And actually, I think this is the first time he gets this early of a scout on the Twilight Council. Yeah, I think you are not mistaken with that one. Stalker's on the chase here. Going to send another one towards the edge here, trying to cut him off. And I think this Reaper's going to go down. It does, but it gets the scouting information. It's all it wanted. Chrono Boost here on the blank. Curious to see how much Chrono Boost he has saved up if he's really trying to get that out fast. But we do see the robotics facility up here as well. Yeah, I think it's just going to be another one of those Bane builds. We'll just get inside down on the bottom left of the screen. Let's see. Uh, 
how much damage this gets done. Two Stalkers well, and the Zealot. Yeah, I mean, he has that Zealot this time. Maybe he was actually thinking about keeping the Zealot anyway. Well, notice this time he keeps his Mothership Cold way back. Yeah, he's expecting it 100% this time. All right, here we go again. Let's see how much damage this time. Well, up they come the ramp. The Nexus Cannon gets off right away and no damage. This time he's like, I can't even get that core now. So Super, he was able to win a game. You know, we said arguably he did the most damage with that push flash did in game number two, but Super was still able to win. And this time he gets no damage done. So Super's going to be in a much better position going into this one. Yeah. Flash might not be as comfortable taking that third base, but he is sending an SCB right now, unless that's just going to the natural. I think it's going to the third base. No, just transferred down. I'm sorry. I'll write a formal apology on Reddit tomorrow. The, uh, the stim here is, you know, halfway done, so it's a ways away. It gives a little bit of a window to the Stalkers to maybe pressure a little bit. But Super's playing passive here. He's playing, uh, I don't want to say playing scared, um, but he's just taking it slow. There's yeah. that SCV. I'm going to start making that third base. See that Marine out on the map. I think he's scouting for possibly Dark Shrine. You know, when you see Twilight Council, always got to be careful. That's always an option for the Protoss player. All right, Observer is coming in here. We'll take a look. We'll look see. I see that it's a very Marine heavy army this time. One awkward Marauder in the middle of 26 Marines. Right in the middle. He thinks nobody knows. They all know he's not a Marine. Day 26. They still haven't noticed. Okay, he's going to be able to pick off quite a few Marines here before Stim is done, but once that finishes, uh, his one might turn sour. He needs to be careful with how he micros here. Scan. Nice scan. Stim is done too. Stim's only the Marauder in a small group of Marines there. Very smart. Yeah. We were see seeing some pretty heavy Stimming out of Flash earlier on, so he's kind of learning as we go along, you know. His third base is nearly completed. Watching this first person view right in front of me. And just been watching that very closely. Sends his SCVs at the exact right moment to make sure they can mine straight away. As he's done so now. That Marine is still out on the map scouting. That's one tired Marine. He's got a, a buddy coming down to do a little bit more scouting himself. Did he just sneak in? He just got a unit in there. He's going in. What? How did he do this? He actually just snuck a Marine into the main base. This happens sometimes, usually with a drop. That's a really good scout, though, on the bay and those forges. Now he knows exactly what he needs. That second starport he's making is definitely warranted, and he knows that the upgrades are coming out pretty soon. Third base is up and running here, but Super taking a, a bit of a faster third this time, trying to match Flash. I think he has Flash's number, knows he's kind of just doing the same strategy over and over. That's something you can do. That's why sometimes players who do the same thing over and over can get punished for it. Yeah. This third base timing for Super is really nice. And if he can hold it for a little bit here and uh, and really get a few more Colossi out, poke a little bit, I think he's going to be okay against a laser ploy push that might come. We don't have a Ghost Academy actually yet either, so the timing of this is, for, for if he's going to do it, is, is closing pretty quickly. He's going to want to get that up. Uh, and he's still making actually pure Marines. Just Marines only here. It's just a small dabble of Marauders. That's not a fight the Flash wants to take. Take some losses. Flash gets off one shot as well. Still no Ghost Academy. Macy Flash just kind of go for a later game here. See, uh, I mean, he might just try to fight. He's now adding those Mars and now he's got the gas. He might just want to try to fight with a bigger army. I just say, you know, those EMPs didn't really work out for me anyways. Um, is he pulling the boys? I think he is. There they go. It's happening again. Oh, Scans. the Observer lives and wow. he sees everything. Yep. So now Flash is uh, rather super. He's going to get a position up here at his second base. He's natural. And just be out on the map, just poking with some stalkers. Getting some kills before the fight actually goes down. Getting some Vikings with you. Another scan. And he's going to lose his third base. 
but uh, it's going to give him enough time. Actually, Flash hesitating here. He's going to try to take the fight. The Vikings getting some great volleys here. Those force fields are excellent, but they're a bit late. That first Viking uh, volley there, or that route, they're both gone. The Colossair dead is what I'm trying to say. I'm struggling to get it out there. They're gone, and now this base is going to go down. He might be able to take a decent fight against this bio or with this uh, bio army against the Stalkers and Zealots. Yeah, we need some really, really good force fields here. The Vikings land. You know they have nothing to shoot in the air. Here we go, really nice concave, really nice setup here for Flash, but a good one for Super as well. More reinforcements on the way here by Flash, and those Stalkers at the top are just getting demolished. There's yep. so much bio here. Way too much, and he's just going to get crushed. Uh, just a, a bad engagement, I guess you could say, you know. Uh, his Colossi just really didn't get to do much. His Force Shields were good, but with the Colossi dead, uh, once the Force Shields faded, Flash was able to just take a good fight. He's even up a, in attack upgrades right now. And another force steel wall is absolutely necessary here. Don't forget the Flash has a third base up and running. Uh, he is reproducing STVs, so making up for the lost STVs of this push. And he's got triple mules to drop with this. Yeah. Flash is totally cool. Knows he doesn't have to force it. Big stim. He's going up the ramp this time. No force fields come out. A really nice concave on the top of the ramp here, though, for Super. But is it enough units here? Could be. You know, some more warpins here. Really good force fields. He's going to actually win that fight for now. Yep. Uh, War Prism is on the way. He's going to try to use this to get some harassment done. I mean, Super is, is hanging in there. It's just an issue that he doesn't have a third base. He needs to eventually force this army back. He needs to draw it back. Vikings are landed now. They want to get a little bit more vision with those instead. Using that factory, I suppose, and also pick off any Colossi that might join the fight. Okay. Uh, factory landing. Is he actually making little mines? I think he is. Because, <laughs> you know, why not? Yeah, he is making little mines. I'll, that would explain why he landed that, because I'm like, well, it's going to get shot either way. <laughs> uh, the difference being in this case that now it's not moving. Yeah. War Prism is out on the map. Looks like it's going towards the natural here. All right, let's see how much he commits to warping in here. Five Zealots. Yeah, and he's got a Dark Shrine on the way. Flash was, he's trying to draw Flash attention over here, while he micros his Zealots meanwhile over there. Uh, he needs to get some force fields down. Ooh, look at this. Three Zealots here at the third base. Going to stop mining for a while. Really nice force fields here as well. Super is trying to claw his way back into this, man. He really is the force field king. He's actually doing so well with this. Yeah. He's crushing this army. Look at those medevacs that were just over there. He has so many medevacs, and they're not even healing. And now Super's got a lot. He's breaking down this ramp, and he's going to go for a counterattack here. No, he's going to get this factory. I don't know what these probes are doing, but uh, those aren't hallucinations. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see uh, how much damage this counterattack he did. Flash has a very large army, uh, but compositionally with all those immortals, it's pretty scary for Super, plus that upgrade of Angie has. Yeah. Looks like Super doesn't really want to go for that counterattack. He's just going to drop here. Two Zealots in the main, warping and two more. So annoying for Flash to deal with. Just picks up and gets away. Stops mining for a while. Should escape here, I think. And now that the units are drawn into the main, he's actually going to go over here and try to pick a, a fight with this small army that's at the front. Super is really doing this zoning game very, very well. Yeah, and those units, they can be chased by charge and blink. This army of Flash is totally, uh, you know, separated right now. Really good force fields here as well. Super has a ton of stuff here. Yeah, he really does. I mean, he's... He's taking, if you look at the army supply, he's taking that and saying, you know, my army is better. It's built better. It's tougher. A lot of his army is in medevacs. So all of Flash's army is in medevacs. So if you look at those numbers, you might be thinking, well, how does he win these fights? It's the upgrades and the tech. The, the medevacs are great to have, but if immortals are bursting your Mars down before they can even be healed, it doesn't matter how many medevacs you have. Yeah. Five ghosts here on the way. They're not out. Those need to get out in time. Can EMP all of those immortals, make it much easier to kill that army. He's starting to get his third base saturated too, super that is. All right, great force fields here, zoning out the right side of that army. And these Immortals just going to work on anything they can find. Zealots at the front to tank some damage. Guardian Shield here is pretty good. He's even bringing in DTs. Some of these units stream through the force fields. Does he have enough? He doesn't notice the DT. DT doing a lot of damage up there towards the top left. But again, reinforcements here coming out of Flash. Is it enough though? It's really close. More DTs doing a lot of damage. Scan goes down. He's finally going to get rid of those DTs. And an EMP here, but it hits all of his Metamax too. That's actually a lot of healing loss. That might have been a mistake. 
Uh, all those medevacs so low on energy now. Look at the supplies right now. They're like tied at 60. This is so, so close. All right, so now a third base up for Super. Worker count in his favor by 15. Flash still has a strong army, though, he can counterattack with. Super needs to set up his defenses and get ready here. Nice pick up on that medevac as well. Yeah. Flash way down in Harvesters. He was not mining from that natural for a while as well. Super is just totally cool and calm. Just come back and defend. He knows that Flash is the guy who's pressured right now to attack. 103 Marines killed this game. And he hasn't gone back to Colossi. That's something that he could do at any moment, as soon as he feels comfortable, because there's no Vikings left. And, you know, he knows his opponent's going for a ghost-oriented army. Yeah. Just continuing with the Immortals for now, though. You know, they are cheaper, and they are working out for him. But as more and more ghosts come out, it's going to be a lot less effective here. Oh, there's the first Colossus coming back. We called it, Wolf. We called it. He still has uh, DT tech, so Warp Prism Drop could actually be pretty annoying. He's checking around with his observer to see where there are turrets. Flash scans at 30. He's like, oh, you've had that for a while back up on here. He's going to force another scan, or at least an EMP. EMP, the most terrifying way to cloak, uh, kill a cloaked unit. Yeah. All right. They're going to actually fight. Looks like Super's going to try to get high ground vision here and try to control that. A bit timid as he sees the medevacs going. He can't control that. He doesn't have any AOE yet. This is a fight that Flash may be able to take. He's got a huge army supply. He's got so much burst damage to all these Marauders. It's almost a purely Marauder army. That's a, a very important thing to note because Marauders just do so much damage and they slow you know, units down, making it a lot harder to engage. Big drop coming on the way. Three medevacs filled up, going for that main. All these gateways are on cooldown. Looks like only three available right now. And he has nothing in the main. Good choice here by Flash. And if he draws his whole army back, then the army's going to go over to the third base. And that's exactly what we're starting to see here. DT Warpits for the defense are going to get scanned immediately. And it looks like the third Nexus might fall. He's going for it. He needs to actually target it, though. He's going for probes, actually. But he's got so many units over here. I think he might just go for that Nexus. But Super is back, and he is fighting. He's got a lot of Zealots here and a lot of units. I think he will be able to take that down. The rest of the units are flashed and trying to fly back, but... A little bit of an indecisive engagement is what I would call that last one that we just saw there. You know, not deciding on the probes or the Nexus or the army quickly enough. His army, you know, fighting three different things at once. The medevacs you were talking Ooh. about, oh, nice pick off there. The medevacs you were talking about are just kind of idle over here. They're not dropping, yeah. they're not doing damage, they're not participating in the fight. Yeah, really weird, that, that medevac control there. He went in and, of course, it got defended for a little bit, but then Super pulled his whole army back to defend the third, and Flash just never dropped those units again. Now he's dropping them. Uh, but a lot of Zelts are coming. Can he get the damage done before the army gets back? That's the question. I would be kiting back here trying to get that Nexus on the way out. And I think he will be able to get that. Does go down, picks up, flies away. And uh, Flash, you know, his own third base, starting to get a little bit better saturation. You know, he's actually up in workers right now, 33 to 30. And he's, he's clawed his way back into a lead here, I would argue. 26 Mars on the map. That's pretty intense. If he could get just a few more Vikings out to help deal with the Colossus count. Yeah, he just has one Viking for two Colossi. That's not enough here. Super going to come over to the third base, stop mining. Going to kill a lot of SCVs as well. And long distance mining here at the third is Super. Maybe running out of minerals there at his natural. All right. Tense moment here. Flash is actually pulling some of those SCVs, and he's going to... Uh, looks like he's going to try to... Maybe surround and kill this army. A little bit of indecision here. He sends some units back to defend, but sends some forward. Okay, sends the SCVs back. Oh, he's just going to the base. He wants a base trade. Weird that he would send the SCVs back for this, but starting to lift. He's floating. Takes the crucial structures, those command uh, centers, and apply them away. Starts a turret here for DT defense. But he knows with all those CCs lifted, he's going to have a big problem on his hands. The turret's not going to finish, though. That's actually a great snipe there with that DT. Needs to land this orbital and kill that DT. That's actually, so funny. DT's so doing funny. so much damage. He needs more DTs, actually, but you know that is going to land here. And it's he only got enough energy. for one more DT. Yeah. That's all he's got left. And I think Flash may just, he may just be able to win this game. Consider also that without that money from that Nexus, he can't make a Stargate to make flying units to kill the Command Centers. So Command Centers can't be killed as it is right now. So he needs that Nexus. I suppose if he canceled the Nexus, he could get like a Phoenix out. And like maybe one Phoenix to get a port. Yeah. 
Flash knows he has to defend this area right now. He's making a bunker. And Super's just grouping up. He's going to try to take this army down, and I think he might be able to. Flash, though, is making a lot of bunkers here. Finally, that scan is so important on that DT. I think he did a big sim with that, too, so that's going to deplete a lot of his six medevac energy. This base is up and running. Yeah. You know what? Super's not even going for the attack. He's just keeping that base alive. He can rebuild over there. So Flash is going to respond by killing all the buildings in the main. He needs to control the ramp, though, because Flash will win a straight-up fight if he gives it to him. And he needs more time to get that base running. All right. He, he tries to control the ramp here. Flash tries to get down. That force field is brilliant there. Needs to lift up. Force field. The Colossi doing a lot of damage. There's no damage on the Colossi. There's one Viking huge pickup and drop here on the Colossi. It's a ton of units here. It's so close. Oh, and I think Flash has done He's it. He's done it. He lifts him up. And he takes the win here. There's a scan. <laughs> GG. Flash takes the lead. Wow, these games are really entertaining. So, so close every single time. Keeping it real for us, man. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. And we're only one hour in. Oh, that flash smirk. I think he just winked at you. Did you see that? I did. He definitely did. <laughs> Hero is in the booth talking to Flash. Yeah, that's really interesting. Considering that he also has to later play against uh, an opponent later on today. And uh, I guess just wanted to say hi to Flash really quick. He's been told to leave the booth now, though. <laughs> Referee stops him. He's like, uh, Flash is like, you know, in the middle of a really important match. Wow. Came with their boyfriend. For the first time. It's pretty fun.